We're following a developing story tonight that may impact your family when it comes to the meals that you eat. Right now, union workers at one of the country's biggest food delivery services are on the picket line. They are fed up with the company as they work to come up with a new contract. Members of Teamsters who work for Cisco in Massachusetts hitting the picket line, even blocking a semi truck being driven by a non union employee as they strike following a breakdown in contract negotiations there. Cisco workers have also been striking in Syracuse the past couple of months. The Cisco strike comes as union contract negotiations in other industries also heat up. Last month, union workers with Amtrak and other rail companies narrowly avoided a nationwide strike. And here at home, the unions representing workers in Kaleida's system reached a tentative deal. So tonight, our Sydney York spoke with Teamsters workers here in Buffalo as they too push for a better deal with Cisco. Cisco claims to be number one in food distribution, but they treat their employees like garbage. Cisco food drivers are on strike. Local Teamsters 317 union worker Nick Doty tells me they had to pull the plug. He says they've been working over five and a half weeks with no contract and have had 12 sit down meetings, but still no fair deal. They worked us through the pandemic as essential employees and we, we did our due diligence and now it's time for them to give us a fair contract that they told us they were going to give us. Doty says over 230 union members are being impacted between Buffalo, Rochester, Elmira and Syracuse and says many rely on this job to provide for their families. We all are the breadwinners in our homes. We make the money, we make everything function the way it is. And we don't want to be on strike. This is not what our intentions were. He tells me replacement workers are now behind the wheel of Cisco's trucks. I spoke with one driver who normally works out of Long Island. Things change a little bit, you know, so when they get to where they need to be, then you know, I'll, I'll be back where I work at. And these drivers say they're here to give their 100% support to Cisco. I just hope everybody gets treated fairly, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what Cisco is about. Um, that's my, my experience from working here, so, you know. Doty says Cisco is trying to do what they can to continue work as normal, but normal operations are not happening. Union workers shared these images with me, capturing what they say are subway owners meeting a trailer in a parking lot at Galleria Mall. Doty says these frozen items were transported into non-temperature controlled vehicles, which he says is a safety issue. Doty says these stop the war on workers signs are staying put until they get the deal they're looking for. We just want a fair contract for an honest day's work. That's all we want. Cisco Syracuse released a statement saying increased wages were offered and include a $2,500 signing bonus, health and wellness benefits, and paid time off. Union workers tell me that the president of Teamsters and Cisco Syracuse will have a sit-down meeting on Wednesday, and they say they hope the outcome will be a contract for them to vote on come Thursday morning. Sydney York, 7 News.